Greetings and welcome to Newsim TV. I am Makanaka Masenyama. Stories making the headlines. A government panics amid double fuel hike fears in the courts. Former Minister Matonga in the dock over 10,000 US dollars fraud in business. National blankets placed under liquidation in sports. Zifa to pay back Cuthbert Dube debt. Now the news in greater detail. Energy Minister Fortune Chasi has since warned players in the fuel industry against hiking fuel prices, describing the move as against the interest of the public. This comes after social media circulations, petrol and diesel retailers in RCBD Tuesday afternoon stopped selling the commodities while others displayed prices of $7.80 RTGS of petrol and $7.98 for diesel. In the fuel industry, uh, with various uh, solicitations, we have decided um, that they will demand US dollars from members of the public. Um, they are refusing to accept other uh, methods of payment, and that is uh, unacceptable. It's causing uh, extreme inconvenience. Uh, to We think that uh, this is simply a selfish. Um, People who are deciding that they want to take this um, manner of uh, dealing in, in fuel. And uh, as uh, the statement uh, made clear earlier on, um, Zera is on this case. And uh, if the practice co continues, uh, we'll have to take uh, the serious remedial uh, measures because we cannot uh, accept the level of. Uh, inconvenience that the public is being exposed to. Public transport operators told NewZimbabwe.com that they will be left with no option to also hike commuting charges by at least a double from the current fares. Prices of fuel rose last week by over 50% before the latest increase. The increases have been necessitated by government's decision to liberalize the interbank market and withdraw from supplying foreign currency to fuel suppliers at subsidized rates in the courts former information deputy minister bright matonga was tuesday held before the courts on allegations of duping a malawi national of ten thousand u.s dollars matonga who is jointly charged with ones mondoro appeared before harare magistrate barbara mateko who released the two on three hundred dollars bail each they were not asked to plead still in the courts High Court Judge Justice Chitapi has dismissed an application by Chivi South ZANU-PF legislator Kilazevu, who was seeking $1 million defamation compensation from his Norton counterpart Temba Muliswa. Zivu was accusing Muliswa of labeling him a thief and a corrupt individual on Twitter. Zivu said damage is still continuing because the articles are still available online and the tweets continue to circulate on social media platforms. In business, textile making giant National Blankets has been placed under liquidation following years of poor performance and failure to find a good investment suitor in yet another blow to Blawayo's industrial revival. The new development has been necessitated by an order granted by Blawayo High Court Judge Justice Noktula Moyo, 
who said she was satisfied that the company could not continue operating normally due to serious financial constraints. Justice Moyo ordered all interested parties to appear before the court, sitting in Blawayo on the 13th of June 2019, to prove why the granting of a final order to place the company under full liquidation should not proceed. The company's products have been experiencing a drastic fall in demand as the market for woven blankets declined. Many people have been asking me how did I manage it because they could see that everything was uh, there, everything was just uh, happening, people, things were being paid. So I've told people that uh, it was through the Aspera funeral cash plan. So I would advise everyone to join this uh, diaspora funeral cash plan. Their policy is good because it took all the weight off my shoulders. We end with sports. The cash-trapped Zimbabwe Football Association is set to repay its former president, Cuthbert Dube, almost a million RTGS dollars he advanced to the local football mother body during his tenure at the helm of local football. According to the audit report by Bakatili Chartered Accountants for the year 2018, tabled at the association's annual general meeting, Dube, who is owed 918,000, is one of the association's biggest creditors. Dube, who left the organization in 2015 after a vote of no confidence, has in the past claimed that he assisted with the paying of staff salaries, national team players' bonuses and allowances, as well as paying accommodation for visiting national teams. To end this news bulletin, here's a recap of headlines once more. A government panics amid double fuel hike fears. In the courts, former minister Matonga in the dock of a 10,000 US dollars fraud and business, national blankets placed under liquidation, and sports as if to pay back Cuthbert to be debt. Reporting for NewZimbabwe.com, I am Makanda Kamasengema. For this and more stories, do visit our website www.newzimbabwe.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is NewZim TV.